right, you cool. Come in? I guess yeah. we could. Yeah. But is is the dog gonna be loud or no? Uh, yeah, the dogs are gonna bark. I don't care. It's up to you, man. It's your. This is your uh, motorhome, so I'm cool with that. Check that out. All right, we are backstage here at Circuitalia. I'm with Karchi, and we are hanging out. How do you say it? Karchi. 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 Karchi's Hungarian, and he uh, does the BMX as well as the roller skating act here at the uh, circus. And we are at your trailer, right? Mm -hmm. So what's it like being a, a circus performer, traveling, living in a trailer, and living the circus life? It's awesome, man. It's awesome. <laughs> you know, this is how I grew up, so for me this is, this is life. So tell me that. How did you start going into uh, being a circus performer? My family is, uh, you know, was in circus. And uh, I went to circus school, and I've been doing all my life. What did you start uh, doing? Was it trapeze? Was it uh, doing BMX? Yeah, the first thing I, I started working with it was a flying trapeze, and then uh, in the side I I just like BMX. You know, like I see the guys on the yeah. street. Yeah, cool man. So you know, the first thing when I save a little bit of money, I bought myself a bike, and I just nice. Do you remember the it. first bike you had? It, w it wasn't even a brand. It was some. Really? Something cheap, you know? Like, nice. Yeah, but then the first good one I had was a GT, of course, you know? But, yeah. yeah. But the first one, you like did everything. Jumped off jumps, went crazy. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's what I did with my first bike. <laughs> yeah. I was just like, all right, I'm a dare. <laughs> just go over anything, you know? Be a big dare battle. Yeah. yeah. And then I got married, you know, and uh, with my wife, we started the skating too. Yeah. So. so that's awesome. You guys are on roller skates, and you guys are sw you're swinging her around on the roller skates. How fast are you guys spinning? <laughs> it looks it looks like that it looks intense basically what he does is he uh, spins his wife beautiful wife I gotta say Thank you. and you spin your wife and you're pretty much uh, on a how big is that circle that you guys are spinning on it's not too big right you know the it's, it's big as my uh, the door on the back of my trailer right honestly. so it's I, I never measured it I measure I need this big okay I can fit it in here so. yeah so it's not it's that somewhere, it's somewhere not that big right yeah. so you guys only have so much room and by that you spin her with no hands she does a split you spin her again around yeah. and there's water all around you yeah that is insane <laughs> that is awesome yeah. it was really it was really cool to see once i saw it, i was like what Thank that's you, intense man. and then you're, you're bmxing you do flat landing and all that stuff what got you yeah. into doing bmxing did you see any bmx guys when you were younger yeah or? i just i just see a couple of kids on the street you know pulling some tricks and i was like wow that's, that's awesome you know and then uh -huh. That's another thing, that's a different uh, lifestyle, you know, it's like, it's not really something that you just practice, you gotta live right. for it, you know, basically, so, when I was doing circus school, as soon as I finished, I just hopped on my bike, and I was on the street all day long, hanging out with my friends, mm -hmm. and just, you know, pick up the tricks, and... So, you know, how old were you when you first started circus school? Like, 11. Wow, wow. Are you first generation circus, or your no, family's no. been doing it too? I believe third. Wow. Yeah. And everyone from Hungary? Yeah. You're, so, you're, yeah, yeah. so your dad, what did he do? He, he did uh, Risley or Icarian games. Okay. Uh, you know, they call it different things, but uh, yeah, that's what he did. Can you explain more that, what that is? It's like foot juggling with people, you know? You, you keep exactly. But with your leg. You know? So what he's saying is that his dad would go ahead and have a guy on top of him and he would flip him. No, he, the, the, the right? thing is, no, they he were kicking flip. his butt. Oh, it was, okay, so he was the flyer. Yeah, he was the flyer. So the guy below him was like pretty much laying on his back and kicking his butt while he's flipping the air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is so cool, man. I've seen it. I've seen it, like, obviously in Cirque du Soleil. It's, it's wild. Yeah. Well, did you ever do that yourself? Yeah, that's what I practice in the circus school. And cool. actually I'm practicing with my son too. Oh, but, nice. But I'm too big, so yeah. I'm yeah. always the bottom guy. Oh, cool. Yeah. Awesome. And then what else did you get into more? When did you get into BMXing? After that, like 13? No, I was, uh, when I get into BMX, I was like probably 16. Cool. Yeah. Nice. And then, uh, so I, I went to competition. Uh -huh. Actually, I was the third place on World Championship in 92. Really? Yeah. Wow. And uh, I'm the first one who ever pulled a double backflip, you know? Double backflip? Yeah, on the bike. Wow. But today, the double is like, I don't know. Today is there you have it. Double backflip on, on the bike, yeah. off a ramp. Yeah. Awesome, man. That's, that's really cool. All right, so this is you in China. Yeah. All right, cool. Here we go. GoPro style. What? And that's actually a double backflip. Yeah, you can see it right, right there. 
sweet, man. Super cool. What are the places have you performed at? What are the circuses? You said one time you went to, to Russia, right? Moscow? Yeah. What was that like? Uh, yeah, that was amazing. Uh, over there, I mean, uh, um, the crowd is just different, different than here, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, also the circus is huge. And it's, yeah. uh, you know, over there, uh, they appreciate circus more, I think, than uh, anywhere else. Right. You know? And uh, yeah, and then I worked. Uh, what what is it? How do they appreciate it? What are, what are the what's they, the audience they, like? They, you know, they come to the show all dressed up like it is a tuxedo. Opera. Yeah, and then cool. uh, they throw flowers at you if they like it. You know? What? Yeah, that's so, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's great, man. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. So tell me, when you and your wife first started, what did you guys get into? Like, how did you guys start performing? Well, my wife was doing uh, flying trophies. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And at the time, uh, I was doing the BMX, and also we were doing like a acrobatic uh, uh, skipping rope act with, cool. with a team of guys. And we ended up working in the same season in Ireland. And uh, she just left with me, you know? Look she, at that, man. Yeah. That's awesome. And then. Uh, Love at first sight, you know? Yeah. That's great. Yeah, actually, she had like four brothers. You know, and I was not really a big fan of getting married, but there was no choice. You know, uh -huh. they were gonna hunt me down. <laughs> so <laughs> she had four brothers. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, always yeah, had to be so, cool with them. And then <laughs> yeah. basically, I met her uh, like after four months we get married. Mm -hmm. So what's it like having a family and traveling as, in the circus? It's cool. It's cool. I think that's the only way to do it because otherwise. Yeah. You wouldn't see your family, you know, much if, you, if they don't come with you. Right. Because yeah. some circuses you don't always get to bring the family, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's why uh, this show is nice, you know, because mm -hmm. you can bring the family. And, you know, you how do you How do you like Circuit Italia? It's nice. Yeah, it's nice. It's cool. Really nice, yeah. And when with your kids, are you teaching them new things? Like you said, you're doing the sun. You're doing some stuff with them. What about your daughter? Are you going to do anything new with her? Or? Want her to learn anything with yeah, circus? Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, she's actually, she's more into it, like, uh, she, Very cool. Yeah, she always want to practice the roller skating. You know? Nice, <laughs> nice. Well, there you go. Yeah. That's cool, man. She's just, uh, too young, in a couple of years. Yeah. Uh, what, one last thing, what has circus done for you? What has it given back to you in, in, uh, in performing? Everything. Yeah? Yeah, everything. Let you see the world? Yeah, see the world. Meet new people? Yeah my life yeah? yeah how long have you been doing it since 12 years old man so many many years many, many years yeah. and you feel and how old do you know 43 wow so it is it's it is your life yeah and and this is nothing you've ever as a normal life that it's not really people say oh I have a job and I go and uh, do a corporate job and then I have a day job and I go back home for you it's no, it's every everything's a different place, a different world, yeah. and you've lived uh, this lifestyle for many years, and it's just something that you just are so absolutely happy about doing, right? I mean, yeah, yeah, and uh, you know, you I ever thought about just it. saying, you know what, maybe circuit life is not for me, and I'm just gonna, you know, no, actually, do something I, else. I did. I had different jobs, you know, like regular job, and yeah, I, I, I didn't like it. You know? What were some jobs that you had in the past? I work at the. Uh, Cirque du Soleil at Cannes. Okay. Is, uh, yeah, I noticed the jacket you got, the Cirque du Soleil jacket. That's cool. Yeah, actually, I got this from my friend. Nice. Uh, for my birthday. Very cool. Uh, so you did, what did you do at car? I was a technician. Mm. Very good. Yeah. And uh, it's a nice job. It's, it's, it's cool and people are awesome over there and right. everything. But it's just like, it's not for me. You right. Know? You want to be back on stage performing. Yeah. I, 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 I still have a couple of years. In, you know? Exactly. So, Exactly. Yeah, many years. Yeah, many I'll years. Do it as long as I can. That's awesome, man. Yeah. One last. Actually, I got one more thing. Uh, what advice would you give to someone who's watching this that loves the circus and wants to be part of it and perform? Just uh, you know, live your dream. You know, you just you know, if you if you um, if you decide that you know you want to do something, just just follow it. You know, mm -hmm. and just. Do you recommend like any practicing or what they should do? Like how many hours a week do you practice? Um, you practice every day? Do you just do every other day? No, actually, we got the routine down, you know, and uh, I don't really practice unless uh, I want to do something new, you know? Because, mm -hmm. you know,
know, we work every day. It's like yeah, you guys do, do three shows today, and yeah. then you know do another show tomorrow. Yeah. So yeah. that is your practice. Yeah, that's my practice. Exactly, right. performing, yeah. which is the best practice. I always say, yeah, get out there and uh, perform. You yeah. know, I mean, you can practice all day long. What is going to do any good? Yeah. You got to get out there. You know, get to the grindstones. Get yourself on the road. You're going to crash sometimes, but you're going to yeah. learn a lot when you perform, right? Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Awesome. Any last words you want to say to people who want to be in the circus? Uh, go for it. Cool, man. Awesome. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Awesome. Thank you. Karchi, right? Karchi. Look at that. Said it right. Karchi. Check him out. Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate it. No problem. Awesome. Okay, so we were talking about uh, setting up the tent. But back in your days, they had to set up a tent with uh, human guys that would have to hit the Back in the, the day, uh, there was no machines. No more machines. You know? I mean, there was, but not. You know, it wasn't so popular or, you know you just do the stakes by hand you know right like four guys stand around and then you, know, you just do it by tempo nice now these days they use machines to do that yeah because it's more easy you know? <laughs> who want to do it by hand did you have any crazy experiences like when you're doing that like guys just you know yeah yeah there's a many stories you know, because <laughs> I can, I bet. Yeah, if you miss, you can hit your uh, own leg, you know, or... Uh, <laughs> and then or, you have to go uh, perform that night? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man, that's, that's hardcore. You know, sometimes those things, they flake, and, uh, you know, you hit it with the hammer and a little piece can fly, you know. I heard a story that the guy hit it, boom, and went into his neck, and the blood was, like, coming out, and to rush to the hospital and stuff. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Holy. So there you have it. Yeah, circus, circus is a dangerous, man. dangerous job. Yeah. Now these days, but now these days, I you just remember a story. Oh yeah, go for yeah. it. So my boss told me, hey, put the stake over there and mark the place. So I go to the mark, but it happened to be that they parked the, the animal uh, trailers and they had leopards. Yeah. And uh, so there was a, the the car. You know, with the fences, and there was a fence around it, so nobody goes close to it. Yeah, yeah. But the mark was like inside. Okay. So I said, oh, there's a mark. I jumped over, you know, I turned around, <laughs> no, 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 no. and I start doing the steak. Yeah. And I, from a distance, I see the, the trainer, the animal trainer, running like crazy, like, what you doing? I was like, oh my God, somebody's in trouble. <laughs> and he's running to me. Why? And it turned out that I was like right, right beside the fence. I mean the the, the, the car, and the leopard was like already reaching out. The leopard, the, yeah. the leopard was leopard. trying to it was claw like this, your head. Yeah. yeah, and it was like this far from me, and I didn't even see it. <laughs> <laughs> Stuff like that. Oh my god, that's wild. Yeah. But see, now these days, like you guys don't like put up a tent. All you do is perform and go on stage. You know, but yeah, I mean, back in those days, we kind of did everything. Yeah. Yeah, it depends. You know what kind of circus you go. You know, yeah. some some circuses uh, ask ask for help. You know. And, if you want to do it, you do it. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to get a leopard to maul you and uh, a lion yeah. to yeah. to take off, you know, one of your yeah. your arms, then yeah, you do I, it. I get chased by elephant. <laughs> get chased by elephant? Yeah. What was yeah, that like? Elephant. It got wild and I started running. And um, I was just gonna go to the back door and I see, I, you know, I hear people screaming and stuff. And I just see this elephant taking off, man. So I was like, oh crap, so I turned around and started running behind, you know, beside the trailers. It was pushing the trailers and breaking stuff and it was following me, man. I was like running around. <laughs> Finally, I see a semi that was open. Did you have a, like a, a bag of peanuts in. on you or what? Uh, yeah, peanuts in my pants, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I shit myself. <laughs> Those elephants okay, are no joke, scary. man. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why was the elephant loose? Why was he loose? Sometimes they just go crazy, I guess. I don't know. Yeah? Yeah, because um, this was a uh, uh, African, African elephant. Oh, wow. With the big ears. Wow. Those are more wild than uh, the Asian. The Asian and they're more calm. Okay. I don't know why. He just went wild and he wanted to break everything. Wow. Well, thank you, man. Thank you for sharing those crazy stories. Appreciate it. Awesome.